into it. We're doing the um, enemy class now. That's what we're going to work on. So I guess we should probably make an enemy class to start with. So let's get with that. So um, save this. Gosh, we're under video classes. That looks like the right place. So enemy, oops, enemy dot js. I'm gonna grab the player stuff, copy all of it, put it in there, and let's just go enemy. Oops, enemy. It needs an x, a y. The height, a width, the colors. Yep, that needs all that. Um, yeah, it needs to be drawn. Its move will be different, so I'll leave that empty. Um, so that's good. And then what we can do is work on getting it connected. So, um, what do we need? Okay, so much like how we had. Bullets array. We'll have var enemies equals an array to hold them. Much like how we made a function to make the enemies, we'll have oops. We'll have a function make in enemy. Right, so there's a few ways you can make enemies. Um, so, for example, let me run this program. I'll draw. So we could make enemies just randomly appear and just randomly fall down the screen. And we can have enemies appear in a set structure, and they kind of move, drop, move, drop, move, space invaders. Um, or you can have them appear in a set zones, and they just simply fall straight down. Um, I'll do a kind of a mesh of the two, so they'll appear in the set places, yes, and then they'll still just kind of bounce down, but they'll be appearing in those set locations, um, just to kind of get that structure there for people, uh, and then go from there. Okay, so I would have to have a var enemy pause equals math. Yeah, math dot floor math dot random uh, times from I don't know, so I gotta say one, two, three, four, five, six, say so seven positions then. Um seven plus one. So doing that that should be one to seven effectively. But uh, actually const enemy underscore size equals uh, thirty sounds nice, actually twenty. Um for enemy X pass equals um, I'll do it also const gap equals I don't know a gap of ten um, right equals that's why I look weird uh, enemy pass times times enemy size. Enemy size plus gap. Right, this when we do it this way, we'll be randomly assigning this position because we're getting a random number. If we wanted it to be set structures where it just ticks up one at a time, we would then have the enemy counter and then we would be saying 
equals uh, enemy counter da 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 gap then go enemy counter plus plus so this would keep every time this function is used it, this would start from zero and then tick up one at a time and so then this would be one two three four five okay so um I think we might use that. Might use that. But that random one gives you the idea. Okay, so then obviously var enemy y pos equals zero. Normally you would go minus enemy size to put it just at the top of the canvas and appear in, but I'll keep it at zero so we can see if it's working. Um, copy this. Uh, in enemy x speed um, min max okay so um, a min of say 3 uh, sorry max of 10 minimum of 3 plus 3 right There we go. Right, duplicate. We'll say the exact same thing for y, um, but the max will be five, and the minimum two, just cause. Alrighty. Here we go. Bar. Uh, um. Enemy equals. the enemy class Oops, this should be up yeah right the enemy class and it needs the x position so enemy x pause enemy y pause enemy size comma enemy size comma I don't need a color so I'll make them red because that's green. Yep. Um, so x speed, come on, enemy y speed, right? And then I'm gonna go. Uh, sorry, enemies array dot push. The enemy class variable in it's got a full thing um, so if I wanted to have this start and just populate my enemies by all means I could do that so I might make a um, a setup function so where am I where am I there, there okay uh, setup equals true oh, and I might have uh, total these equals I don't know um, I said 7 because they're going across the row obviously if I need to do a second row down I would need to uh, make changes to do with this and make sure this has something to do with it. Alrighty. Um, then I can say here if setup is equal to true, 
then i is equal to zero, phi is less than total enemies, i plus plus, make enemy function run. Once that for loop's finished, I will then say set up snag with false, don't run me. So then it run that for loop just the while that's true, so it runs it, then sets it to false, doesn't run anymore. Okay. Uh, sorry, so I was just getting later at night. Um, we'll say here if it's pretty early actually by my recording standards, so I'm slipping. The enemies array dot length is greater than zero. Then we'll go enemies dot for each function. Right, and then there we're gonna have the enemy. Um, come on, right then, enemy dot draw, right, let's give us a wee test, let's see what's happening here. Uncle Ura class constructor enemy not can be invoked with new. Oh, very right you are. So new enemy class. There we go there. Drawn them obviously all attached. So plus enemy gap. Which the enemy gap here size 10. Really has a factor of the size. So I might say the size 30. Ah, oh, right. This goes up one by enemy size, so my enemy counter. Enemy counter is public. There we go. Right, so there you go. There's uh, ones there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can afford to fit an eighth, so we can change that. Eight. Right, so they're in here. I can get them to pull this whole um, if this number is greater than If this number is greater than canvas dot width minus player size or equal to, then this drop down a row, set enemy counter back to zero, what have you, or to do a mod count of it. So um, those things can all be worked out by you guys, so I'm not going to give you all the details on all that. Um, but yes, you can get all this. Okay, so let's have a look now on our enemy move. So this dot x plus equals this dot y, uh, sorry, this dot x speed with this dot y plus equals this dot y speed if this dot x plus this dot width. So if this edge here is going to be here, going outside that, is uh, greater than or equals to canvas dot width. Then 
this.x speed, speed times equals negative 1, flip it around. Or this dot x is less than zero. sorry, less than or equals to zero. Okay, so in this edge, let that bounce. If this dot or whatever options, this dot y. Um, this dot y is greater than canvas dot height. Um, what are we wanting to do? We'll say this dot y is equal to zero minus uh, this dot the height of the bullet. Okay. So we get the move function going then. Um, sorry, I'm used to tapping away. Um, okay, so enemy dot move. There you go. They're raining down. Um, I think if I wanted to do score, uh, sorry. Uh, score is equal to zero. I could say in here enemy, even though I'm treating it like it's not an enemy. If that's the case, I can go score plus plus console.log. score right so to scores to clocking up obviously they're going at a similar because they are uh, bullets sorry here game Our Y speeds within a pretty small range, they're pretty similar. I could redo the Y speed and the X speed if I so chose, but let's not get carried away. Um, this dot Y speed is equal to Oh, I'll have it. Oh, yeah. I'm getting it in two places. There, yeah, just there. There we go. I say six and three. Three. Right, here we go. So, bit of a spread. And now we're getting some slower and some faster speeds. And you can see the spread's coming out nicer. And the score's ticking up nicely. So the only thing we haven't got here is any form of collision, um, which is what I will work on next video, is doing collision. So you've got all the movement now going, you've got the enemy populating and rendering and moving. Um, what do we think there? So there you go.